Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about retro consoles. Not Xbox One, not all those modern games. I have them. I enjoy them. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One. But it's nothing compared to the retro stuff. You all know my channel. It's all about retro gaming. So, all the pictures we just looked at. <laughs> Usually on my channel, I enjoy retro computers, retro PCs, retro Amigas. Most of my subscribers at my channel are Amiga people. Also Commodore 64 people. You guys know I love the Amiga. I love everything 16-bit. The thing is, for about a month ago, I looked at the different retro stuff that I have, and I found a couple of Nintendo entertaining systems. The NES, the almighty NES, or Famicom <laughs> in Japan, from 1983. Guys, usually I love the music, 16-bit music in games. The audio package in games is just so important for me. But the SID chip, 8-bit, is just amazing. I love the music, sound effects in Commodore 64. So I played on the Nintendo NES. I played Mega Man 2. Guys, I was just blown away the audio package in Mega Man 2 is I mean you just you need to play that game just for the music <laughs> so while we're watching at these great systems let me just tell you how I got this far I mean what a journey <laughs> So I just fell in love with the NES. It's a great system. And I um, want to try different games. You know, uh, other Mega Man games, Mega Man 2, 3. I remember Castlevania. Uh, I remember few games for the NES. Few games because I live in Denmark. I remember when we were small kids. Nintendo Entertaining System games did cost 600 Danish kroners. That's about, I don't know, 80, 90 euros or something. Let's just say 80 euro, okay? We had few kids at my school that used their daddy's Nintendo Entertaining System. But I'm telling you, 96% of the kids had the Commodore 64. Some of the lucky kids got the Amiga, but most of us just had the Commodore 64. When a new game came out, you all know how it was. One kid got the game, all the others did borrow that game <laughs> at the schoolyard as kids, you know. Nintendo guys couldn't do that. They had to go out and, you know, buy these very, very expensive uh, games. And I mean, my family couldn't afford stuff like that. I was so lucky my dad bought me a Commodore 64. I was just so lucky. So I saw one of the Mega Man games at one of my, um, one of the guys from my school. He was not even just a close friend. I, I visited him one day and he, he didn't live in our city. He was a rich, rich kid. <laughs> He had the Nintendo and he had, you know, 30, 50 games. It was just mind-blowing uh, to see that back then. So I, I saw, you know, Mario and Mega Man. And yeah, the quality of those games, Nintendo games, those quality sealed label, everything. It, it was mind-blowing, but we were happy with the Commodore 64. Okay, so now fast forward, forward 2021. I want to collect for the NES, but guys, starting collecting console games in 2021, it, it's just mad because 
I, I know retro is popular. I mean, everybody loves retro today. Uh, they want to replay all the stuff they had in their childhood. Retro games, uh, pinball machines, uh, cars, motorcycles, everything. We're grown up now. We have okay income. If we want to enjoy and replay and revisit all the old stuff. It, it, it's, it's great. I also love the retro. Man, I have a retro channel. You all know how it is. But... Then I was I was looking around and I was like, oh man, these NES games. I don't know if I like them. I'm looking at some pictures on Google and stuff like that, but it's a jungle out there. And then I'm a 16-bit guy. Then I found out about, you know, Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo graphics is about the era uh from the amiga you know they're like the amiga graphics and i mean i am a 16-bit guy i mean if i should call my youtube channel another name it should be the 16-bit guy <laughs> i love everything 16-bit and you know what guys the prices for the super nintendos and the games they're not cheap and most people, they have these boxed games, sealed games with manuals. I don't care about nothing with boxed, sealed stuff. I want to buy these games. I just want to enjoy them. And so I don't care about the box. <laughs> and then I start watching some of uh, the, the amazing YouTube channels that has, you know, with retro consoles. It didn't interest me all these years. And now I found about, you know, the Sega Genesis. We call it Sega Mega Drive. It's a jungle out there, man. So much great stuff. And you could upgrade Sega X32. And guys, come on. It's 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 just it's it's so amazing. It's just so awesome. I love everything about it. But it's just, it, it's expensive, man. Starting to collect retro in 2021, you have to be patient. You have to be active. You have to be you know, on, on eBay and different Facebook groups. And you have to be ready to pay, you know, uh, premium prices. So what do I do? <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm gonna go into what we're looking at. Just just give me a minute, guys. You, you need to hear my story first, right? So, I got myself a Raspberry Pi 400. I love the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is just amazing. I love everything about it. The 400, the only reason I got it was actually because I want to emulate an Amiga. I have different Amiga setups. One of them, I want to just remove that, sell that Amiga, use the money for consoles, you know, or mini version of these consoles. I bought the Nintendo Mini and I'm telling you, I paid four times more than the new price they sold for back in 2016 and I'm loving that small console. But I got this Retro Pine uh, 400, got a super nice image with new workbench and stuff like that. And no matter what I did, it just, it, the Retro Pine couldn't run it as an Amiga, you know. It, it, could, it can run most of the stuff, but it crashes. The audio doesn't uh, hit it every time. Sometimes it works. And I um, and investigated further in and... Um, on different Facebook groups, they said the Pi 400 is not powerful enough to emulate Amiga the proper way yet. Then I, then I talked with one of my friends that's really into this, and he said, you know what, my friend, you, know, you love that, you love that, but uh, let's just watch this, and then I'll tell you what happened.
Mega Man 3? Rock Man 3. I'm new into this. I'm not a great console player. It, it, it feels unnatural for me to play games with a joy pad. Because I grew up with a joystick. So on the Commodore 64, on the Amiga, when we wanted to jump, we just moved the joystick upwards. That, that's how we did it back then. Up to jump. Now, uh, you know, one button for jump, the other button for fire. It's not natural for me, but I'm learning. So the gameplay, it's not the best. <laughs> that's just, that, that, that's on me, guys. But you just saw a NES game, Mega Man 3, Rock Man 3. How does it run? Oh, man, it's just amazing. Because my friend said, let's go back to that story. The Raspberry Pi 400 is not mature enough, enough to run the Amiga for a guy like me. A guy like me that has been using the Amiga since 2018, enjoyed it daily. My friend said, a guy like me would never be happy with the Pi 400's performance. Drop it. And he's really into emul emulation. He's great into that. And he said, but just for the casual player, the Pi 400 is just amazing for the Amiga emulation, Commodore 64 emulation. But for a nerd like me, forget about it. Wait, <laughs> wait it out or, you know, uh, overclock it or uh, wait to the next Pi 5, whatever. Okay. But he said, retro games, you've, you've been talking about consoles. Let, you just, let me just hook you up. With a compact flash, with a micro SD card. So he said, dude, you can get all these images. They are just everywhere. Cyberpunk. Just search for that. <laughs> you can say dozens and dozens of different images. Now, this is just a 32 gigabyte image. So I've removed everything Amiga and I installed this. Let's check another game and I'm gonna share my story again. That's enough background story. We just looked at Mega Man for the NES. We looked at Castlevania for the SNES. We looked at Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation 1. Guys, speed is, is not, not important. Gameplay, controls, accuracy, lag, music is important and I'm telling you the games I have played they play amazing on the RetroPie 400 I am just blown away 
about how nice everything works. Let's take another game. That's MAME, you know, uh, arcade emulation. And again, wow. I mean, the Retro Pi 400 is an amazing, amazing single board computer. And the 400 is running at quad core, 1800 megahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Guys, Sega, PlayStation. Nintendo 64, Mario Kart 64, arcade games, such an enjoyment to play all those old classics. I am just loving the RetroPie 400. So if you are like me, new into rediscover all the old stuff, I would 100% recommend the Raspberry Pi 400. It plays great. You have perfect picture quality, HDMI, you have great sound, the controls are great. The game library, now this is just a 32 gigabyte package. Think about 512 gigabyte package. Think about a Michael Jackson game on the arcades. Let's check that one out together, guys. So what's the purpose of this video? I really wanted to make this video to tell you guys that the Pi 400 is mature enough to play a lot of the amazing retro consoles. You just saw earlier on this video how many consoles that, that are included and you know and also computers, uh, Amiga you saw, it, Commodore 64, all the great expensive consoles. So. If you don't like emulation, if you want the real hardware, most of us love the real hardware, yeah, I fully understand that, then I would still recommend the RetroPie 400 to try out these games. Try them, play them. If you really enjoyed everything about it, then go ahead and pay those premium prices, guys. Some of the games, they're not expensive, I know, but there are some rare you know some of the sega games uh, from the 90s they're really expensive and yeah again sealed games i don't care about that but also just a cartridge alone they can cost a lot so i just want to say i fully recommend this i really really hope you enjoyed this video usually i don't make console videos but if you like stuff th like this yeah write it down in the comments below i can make you know more content with retro console gaming if you're into this uh i'm new and i like everything about it i think it's amazing man so again thank you for watching guys and thank you for supporting me on patreon and also just giving this video a thumbs up have a great day out there